I'm Greg Pullen, CEO of Northern Health, the largest health service provider in Northern Melbourne. There we go. I'm quite passionate about workplace safety. So Northern has a very interactive way of dealing with workplace safety. We like to teach, we like to learn from people as well. I think I'll learn things as a researcher that I would never learn as a CEO. Well, it's a bit daunting to me, I must admit, but sometimes I feel as though, stuck in the corporate office, I'm a bit isolated and in an ivory tower. So what I hope to do is to get down on the work, work floor and find out what actually goes on and what can be improved. I'm sure there are practices and processes in place at the moment that can be tweaked to make it safer for staff. I'd just like to introduce you to uh, Graham Hart. He's the uh, research team manager. Nice to meet you. Just show uh, basically Thank Graham you. how you go about doing all your day-to-day -day activities, mate. Well, we usually just mop the floors. We just make sure there's a, a yes. sign around so people can't slip. Yes. Slip over. And is it normally a problem with um, wet floors? Is it, is it are they slippery? Uh, it does get slippery. That's why we put the signs up. Yep. We usually bring it out as much as we can. The, yep. The um, the mop. But the nurses usually know that we do it this time in the morning. There's signs up, yes. um, so they know. So you can see how many nurses are flying through, yes. and this is still actually this is um, an hour. Yes. Um, after we're normally yeah. finished with this room by now, but yeah, normally this is wet in the morning, so because um, they've mopped it. It only lasts like five or so minutes, but generally that's the, the busiest part of the day for mm. that room. But I don't know what the PSA's no. schedule is, so maybe there's a reason why they have to do it mm. at that time. And there time. mightn't be a reason. It might be just, it might just tradition. Be, yeah, that's it. That's how we start our day. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I don't see why we can't do it. Or, you know, while the, while the room's a little bit quieter, yeah. then there's yeah. less risk. How long have you been here, Michael, at, at Northern? Uh, I would have been here 15 years. Is that or, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And do you enjoy working here? I do it, enjoy yeah. working here. Yeah. So if we were going to um, you know, go to management and say, listen, we've been working with uh, staff and seeing what they're doing and, uh, and we think this should happen to make their, their life easier, can you think of any one thing we could tell them or...? Probably just maintaining the equipment. Maintaining the equipment, main yeah. Like the, the mm. hoist. Sometimes we get a lot of remote controls. We'll grab them, try to use the hoist in right. the roof. Yep. It doesn't work. And what happens when it breaks down? What do you do? Do you, do you... Um, Well, there's an emergency thing that you can try and fiddle with and try and yep. click it on. But if that's not working, it's um, really, really unhappy, then you have to go and get the manual on. And we've had some issues with our remotes. Our remotes have stopped working, have and they? that took a while to right. replace. Knock, knock. You're always a bit further away from everything when you're down the back, so. How much walk, walking do you think you'd do over? Have you ever used a pedometer and I measured did. how much you I did? I did. In my grad year, my first 10 weeks as a grad, I lost seven kilos because all I was doing was walking. That's what I should do. Yeah, you should just go. You should just be a nurse. Yeah. And I walked um, 22 kilometres in a shift. 22 kilometres? That's further than someone runs in a day and playing football. It hurt a lot. And if you're walking 22 k's a day, what footwear do you wear? Is there, is there a... Is it more appropriate footwear to wear? Do you, can you wear runners or do you...? Um, um... They don't really like you wearing runners. Right. But um, you're supposed to wear hard top shoes. I, when I try to buy the right ones with the nice arches and all that sort of stuff, half the time they're yep. so uncomfortable they give you blisters and yep. you can't afford to have blisters in this shop. You have to have comfy shoes at all times. I just need to go up a little bit higher just for you to take your tablets. Now, you're a shift worker. Mm. It's a bit like coming back from overseas, you know, you're sort of in a different t time zone, aren't you, when you shift yeah. between shifts. <laughs> yeah, pretty so much. So how do you it. cope with that? There was once where I fell asleep when I was walking to my patient's room as I was walking. Goodness because me. I was so tired yeah. and that was during my ten in a row. But, yeah, I had to work ten shifts in a row and it just 
Kills mm. you. And you just, you're doing late early, so you're getting, because yep. I live about an hour away, I wouldn't get mm. home till about midnight. Goodness me. And then you get up at four to go yep. again. And you'll sit down when you can, you'll just, whatever's easy is just to get the patient where you need them and how you need to do it. So you just Him shortcut, 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 just to survive. Him. So we just grab the Kylie. The Kylie sheet. You don't, you don't have to do anything special with your knees you know, or anything like that? Well, bending's always good and trying yep. to take the pressure off your back, but okay. you're just going right. to pull him up. All right. Okay. One, okay. two, three. Good. And have you had any injuries in your work life so far that's required you taking time off? Touch wood, no. No, right. No, not me. But I think if you ask every, every other nurse here, right. yes, they have. They're all lifting type injuries, are they? Yeah, yeah. all back injuries yeah. pretty much, yes. And do you think the all good luck may be something to do with the um, overhead lifting and the... Uh, Mechanical just, devices. I think I've just been lucky yeah. and I'm probably going on borrowed time at the moment, I would imagine. Goodness. Thank you very much. So. so what's the most rewarding thing about your job, Kate? Um, probably patient satisfaction, I'd say. Mm. You tend to think that you've done a bit of a difference to yes. someone's life. Um, that's always probably the best bit. Yeah. I think that's why you get out of bed. Can you see yourself being a nurse when you're, say, 60? Yeah. You yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to be a nurse since I was three, so this is the only job for me, unless I get injured. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, this is... Well, hopefully you won't. Yeah, no, I love it. Mm. So, yeah, no other job in the world for me. Well, you're obviously a very caring person and, and you're in the right job, really. I mean, it is known as the caring profession and you've shown today how, how much you care about the work you do and how, how you care about your patients. So that's a, that's a real credit to you. I was impressed, genuinely impressed by, by Kate and Michael and their dedication to their profession and also to this organisation. I think they're great um, attributes and great examples of what um, you know, professional staff in a, in a public health service can actually represent. Hospitals are very busy places. Some things are done for historical reasons rather than because that's the best way of doing things. I learned as a CEO that I can learn a lot about the organisation from working on the shop floor, going out and visiting, rather than just sitting at my desk and going to meetings and answering the telephone. I picked up on a few things that I'm sure will help the organisation and I think will help staff morale. From my perspective, getting out there and um, listening to you, telling quite truthfully what happens has been a revelation. It's good to see that you've yeah. come down from the office and there are a lot of people sit up there. Wow, well, yeah. really it's, um, I feel a bit embarrassed they're not getting down more often.